Hi YouTube, how you guys doing again? Um, well today I wanted to come on and show you a quick haul that I did over the weekend from three stores, Walmart, Dollar Tree, and the Spirit Store. Woo! Yes, so I have a haul video today. Like I said, my channel is going to be incorporating all different kinds of randomness and that's fine by me. I mean, it makes it more interesting. So let's get into this video thanks for subscribing and hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos by me and also don't forget to like if you like this video and let's get into it so this weekend my husband and i to be my husband to be um we decided to do a quick um get out of town and just kind of go for a walk and get out and see something different and we ended up going to Walmart and the Dollar Tree and the Spirit Store. I don't know if you've watched some of my previous videos. Him and I are now into the whole village making thing for Halloween and Christmas. And this is our first year doing that. And we're really enjoying it. So um, we went out venturing to see if we could find little parts and pieces that we could use in our village for our Christmas scene. So, as we went to Walmart, we picked up a few items, and this is what we got. So, for those who do villages already, they had this. We needed to pick up this. This is the light set that inside the, some of the villages, they don't have lights. So, you have to pop these in each one, and these will illuminate all the little cottages and houses. So, this here is a five set, uh, five street, I'm sorry, a five bulb light cord set. It's got a tent. It's 10 feet long in um, length, and the price was $5.94 at your local Walmart. This was in the Christmas section. They didn't have very many things out, but I was so glad they did because we really needed this. So we picked this up. This is a, one of the items that we got. Next on our list, we were looking for, they had a few villages. Um, not exactly was interested in a few pieces. One of them was a greenhouse. We really wanted that, but it was damaged and they didn't have any more in stock. So we were upset about that. But then they had two available LED village house music sets. And I think it's really cute. So we ended up choosing one out of the two and we picked that up. And this ranges at, this is $24.95. And it is so cute. And this is going to be part of one of our scenes in our village. And as you can see, it's got the little people there already. This um, actually is... Um, goodness gracious. It plays eight songs. It plays We Wish You a Merry Christmas, Oh Christmas Tree, Jingle Bells, Deck the Halls, The First Noel, Joy to the World, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, and Silent Night. So this actually is a on battery operated and it has LED lights and it's on for display and you could choose this to on position while it constantly play or you could choose it to on position two which will play without the music and on position to off position. So that's what we did and we picked up this one. I really enjoy it and here's a little taste of what it does. So that is our first holiday time display that we purchased this year for Christmas. So we're excited to put this together. We've got our Halloween village up already and we're already talking about let's take the Halloween village down and put Christmas up. Crazy, right? I'm always into Christmas. Christmas is my thing. So is Halloween, but it seems like Christmas just like you could decorate it and have it up longer and people won't get weirded out. But if you still have Halloween after October 31st, people are like, well, you guys are severely like behind schedule. But not necessarily. We just like Halloween. So anyway, our next encounter that I got, I just thought this is not all village related. This is just random stuff I picked up that I thought was cute to share. So I got these socks. These are so cute. And if you are a fan of Charlie Brown and the Peanuts game, like myself and most of us in my family, um, these were only 
it was one, two, three, four, five, six pairs for five dollars. Five ninety seven, I believe, as well. It must be five ninety seven. So these are Charlie Brown. That's cute. And then they had Woodstock, which my sister calls me. She says I'm the bird. My sister is actually Snoop. That's her nickname. And this is her. I think it's so cute. And then we have Woodstock again. And then we have Snoopy. These are very cute. So cute. Oh, I love him. And then we have my husband to be Charlie Brown. That's his nickname is Chuck. My sister gave him that nickname. So these are so cute. And I just love the whole. And they're very soft and comfortable. So those were not bad. Pick those up. Had to have them. Was a must have. Okay, and we moving right along. Let's jump into the Dollar Tree, guys. So we went to the Dollar Tree and just wanted to kind of shuffle around, see what they had, and we struck luck. We got a few items that we can actually use in our village, and the items that we ended up picking up, guys, were some of these bottle trees, and they're so cute. So we can put these throughout our village, and we'll incorporate lots of these in different sizes because... It's obviously Christmassy, so these were only a dollar, of course. And then we ended up getting these bags, this bag of moss balls. They're like moss stones, I guess. And we're going to use these for bushes. So these were also available. And we're going to be putting these in our village as well. And just random, because I make craft wreaths. So they had these two mini wreaths. So I picked them up. It's two for a dollar. And I'm going to make like some type of pine cone wreath. Something to go up with our swag uh, Christmas wreath that already have pine cones in them. So I kind of want to incorporate this with it somehow, some way. I don't know what, but I'm going to make those as well. Then, of course, something Halloween. And I thought this isn't too bad. So they had this ghost and... It was pretty good, and I liked that it was pretty, you know, long, the fabric, and obviously we can use this outside, which was, we have already got decorations up for Halloween, so we're going to hang that out there tonight. And then we've got some stuff to go into our tree, because we're doing a rose gold Christmas tree, and you might say, your husband wants rose gold. Yes, he likes rose gold, and I do too, and... We got ourselves a flocked 6.5 foot Christmas tree from Walmart a few weeks back. And we are going to do the whole rose gold uh, theme. So some of the decorations that we picked up at the Dollar Tree, I think these were cute, were angel wings. And we picked up three, one to represent my mom, one to represent my father, and one to represent his grandma. And... We weren't going to get two more so we could get one for his stepdad, but they didn't have any. So we ended up grabbing what we could. So we ended up getting three of those and they're really nice. Look at how beautiful. And this is going to look so lovely. And then we ended up picking up this really pretty poinsettia flower that we're going to use and um, clip these throughout the tree. So it's going to be that champagne gold with the rose gold pink uh, in the tree as well. We also picked up this really cute um, ornament, which is a deer. I love reindeers, so I thought that was really nice. So we ended up getting that piece. And then this is one of my favorites. It's so gorgeous. And I thought, gosh, for a dollar, that's not bad. So we ended up getting this cathedral really cute so we're gonna have that in our tree as well and those were all from the Dollar Tree guys and then because we're getting married on the 24th and we're doing it at a gazebo outside very simple we picked up some of these black and white palms and bows and streamers just to put a little bit with the garland flowers we're going to use on the outside very basic very simple because we're not actually supposed to um decorate but we're going to do it anyway simples where we could just put it up and whip it down so they don't say anything but yeah that's our haul from the dollar tree guys 
And last but not least, we went to doo -doo 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 -doo, Spirit Store. And man, oh man. So we ended up getting a lanyard of Michael Myers because my husband to me, he loves Myers and I do too. And we were both wearing our Halloween shirts. We both had matching shirts. We usually get matching shirts that have something themed related from a movie. And when we go out, we'll wear it. And this weekend we wore our Halloween, um, he comes home, Michael comes home shirts. And that was a hit because everybody seemed to like it. And we had those on. So we went to Spirit Store just to walk around. We weren't planning on buying anything animatronic or anything. But we ended up picking up this because for the price, for the price for $5, my husband wanted this. And I don't I'm sorry the glare. There we go. It is so awesome. And it was like, yes, we have to have that. So I think he's going to put it in a frame. He wants to hang that up in this room until he one day gets his man cave. So that's actually a window clean, but we're going to put it in a frame. It looks too awesome. And couldn't pass it up for $4.99. Then, of course, because I'm a fan, a big, huge fan of Hocus Pocus, one of my favorites. And I got this for my vehicle. So, I'm actually going to hang it, put this up in my back of the window of my van. And it says, the Sanderson Sisters, Hocus Pocus. And it has the silhouettes of all three of them. And I, I love this. This is awesome. And it's just, ooh, it's cool. I love Hocus Pocus. Anything Hocus Pocus, I could watch this movie over and over and never get sick of it. I've already started watching it like three times already. It's not even Halloween yet. I've watched it all. I watch it all through the year. Heck, I love that movie. So, yeah, that's what we ended up getting at the Spirit Store. And actually, we did stop off at Burlington. And the only two items that we got from there... As I've got two, I, I never leave there unless I get a makeup item because sometimes it's a hit miss. Ended up finding a good um, deal. I ended up getting this br this bronzer right here. I actually have it on. This lighting's not that good, but it looks kind of orangey. I think that's more like the blush underneath. It looks like I haven't blended it out, but it is. It's just this not picking up well. I don't have my lights on and. It's just whatever, but I think it's so gorgeous, the color, and it's super shiny, so a little goes a long way, but it's big. Look at that pan. I mean, it's it's big, and um, this is by Beauty Treats, so this was only $4, but I mean, I had to have it. It is striking. It is beautiful, and I do like the decoration, but I mean, just look at this. It's very shiny. It's very very glowy and it's a bronzer highlighter so i ended up buying that so that was not a bad buy and then ended up picking up this as well this milani shadow palette in pure passion number four which is all these beautiful neutrals and i'm actually wearing those colors right now and it doesn't do it any justice because for some odd reason i look funky in this video in every video I'd make it looks funky because I don't use my lights. I just film where I'm at before. So it comes with this big mirror and um, then it sh comes with all these beautiful neutral colors. You have some shimmers here. Then you have some shimmers here. This row, These are all mattes and these are mattes. And yeah, I think this was really nice. I love these tones. I probably have too much of these tones, but I don't know why I'm always drawn to these tones for some reason. Seems like I always wore the same makeup look, but I actually don't. <laughs> anyway, this palette was only $4.99, and it's not a bad buy. So, I love Milani, especially their um, foundation. But, yeah, guys, anyway, that's my makeup haul video Halloween slash village slash Walmart and Dollar Tree goodies. I hope that you liked it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to come back and watch more videos and purchase these. One of these for $2 to help the children's uh, hospital at the spirit store. They have them on the way out, guys. So do your do good deed. Help out those kids, the less fortunate. And peace be with you. God bless and thanks for watching. Bye.